evaluate the definite integral. And uh, I will be using substitution in this case. And I will be making the u actually the square root of 2x plus 1. This may seem a bit tricky. Uh, I guess I'd call this an intermediate problem, uh, probably. And um, so we're going to have to find du. And to do that, I'm actually going to square both sides here of the equation. So get u squared equals 2x plus 1. And then what I'll do is that I will isolate x and then take the derivative of both sides of the equation. So I get u squared minus 1 equals 2x. And I'll divide both sides by 2. So I get x equals u squared minus 1 over 2. Um, great. So now let's take the derivative of this. And once we do, that's basically u squared over 2 minus half, right, is equal to x. Once I take the derivative of this, I just get u. And the derivative of negative half, which is a constant, is just 0. So, and of course, we need to write the differential. So we have u times du, or u du equals dx. Wow, look at that. All this trouble just to find u du equals dx. So right now, right, and uh, of course I'm going to have to change these little limits here, 0 and 4, but I'm going to leave that for later. So you have x over u, essentially, right? And uh, times u du, because I'm replacing, I'm just taking, the, let me change colors. Let me write with red now. So dx is equal to u du. So I'm plugging that in here. Thereby canceling out the u's. But then we're stuck with an x. What do we do now? Well, I'm actually going to take this and plug it right in there. Look at how elegant that is. Isn't it elegant? I guess. Well, so I have, I can rewrite it as u squared minus 1 over 2 du. Those little u's are gone. And now we have to figure out the new limits. Uh, they can't stay 0 and 4 because those were in terms of x. So we know that um, basically our u was the square root of 2x plus 1. So when x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1, 1. And the square root of 1 is 1. So the lower limit is 1. What about the upper limit, the 4? Well, u equals the square root of 2 times 4 plus 1. So we just plug it in. 2 times 4, 8 plus 1. The square root of 9, which is 3. Okay, so I'm going to call it the first limit and the second limit. So that's a, there's a 3 there now. Fantastic. Now we just need to evaluate this, and then we're done. So I'll just rewrite it for the sake of um, cleanliness, I would say. It looks better this way. Look at that. So what we'll do now is that I will essentially just take the antiderivative. The antiderivative of u squared over 2 is just u cubed over 6. Right? Because I, I can just add a 1 here. And down below, I need to multiply by that number. So I have, and essentially that's just u squared times half. The antiderivative of this is u cubed over 3 times half u cubed over 6. Minus the antiderivative of a constant is just the constant times the variable. So I get essentially just u over 2. And our limits are still there. So at this point now I can plug in the 3. And then subtract having the 1 plugged in for you.
Oh, there's no three there. There we go. So, I had already plugged that into the calculator and it looks like the answer will be 10 over three. Final answer. So that's it. Now, always be careful with the transition of the limits from one variable to the other. Can't forget. So that's it. And of course, I'll, I'll suggest that you practice some more. Good luck.